A registered sex offender is facing new charges after he was found running a ride for kids at a local county fair. Troubling to say the least. Natalie Tendler of 2 News Investigates is following up, trying to find out how he got that job in the first place. Natalie? Well, 26 year old Tyrus Worsham of Piqua was not supposed to be around kids, let alone working on a ride designed for them at the Great Dark County Fair last week. But while he was awaiting a hearing, I went looking for answers and found there's not many rules in place for keeping registered sex offenders off the list of people working at the fair. Every year, the Dark County Sheriff's Office puts notebooks outside the entrances of the Dark County Fair. In them are mug shots and information about the most wanted criminals and registered sex offenders. It's a tool for officers to keep the fair safer. This year, they put those resources to use. Somebody just said, I believe he's a sex offender. You might want to check him out. Detective Sergeant Mike Burns says they found Tyrus Worsham working at one of the rides. Worsham has convictions dealing with sexual conduct with a minor and is listed as a Tier 3 sex offender, the highest and most serious classification. Officers took him off the property and notified his parole officer. The next day, when the adult parole authorities find out about it, they're going, oh, he should not have been there. The Ohio Department of Rehabilitation and Correction tells 2 News Investigates Worsham was in direct violation of a parole condition that reads no unauthorized contact with minors. They told us Worsham had not requested permission to attend or work at the fair. But we wanted to know why a registered sex offender was allowed to work there in the first place. Is there anything against working the fair? Nothing against working the fair. Uh, could maybe some of the employers there do a little bit deeper background check and understand who the, it is that they're hiring. I would recommend that not only to anybody that's, you know, at a carnival setting, but anybody in general. Sergeant Byrne says Worsham told them he was working for a company called Kissel Brothers Shows. The fair board has an agreement with them to operate rides at the fair. I did speak with a Dark County fair manager, and while he has no official comment on the situation, he did pass along the contracts they require all vendors to sign off on. In them, no mention of background checks or employee requirements. Basically, it's up to each individual vendor to screen their employees. I called and emailed Kissel Brothers and have yet to get a response about their employment policy. Luckily, in this case, the Dark County Sheriff's Office's proactive measures worked. They'll be at it again next year. Who's going to be monitoring this and for future fairs? Well, that's why we do what we do. You know, people shouldn't go with a panic to the fair, and that's why we want them to know maybe what we're doing uh, is that there is people that care. There are people that's watching. Now, Sergeant Burns tells me it's not illegal for registered sex offenders to attend county fairs. It's only illegal if they have conditions as part of their parole to avoid certain groups. Now, I also checked with Montgomery County to see what their policy is. The fair manager there tells me that they expect all of their food and ride vendors to background check their employees before bringing them to the fair. Natalie Tendall, 2 News, investigates.